Many of our viewers will certainly remember the Canadian Club whiskey um, that was buried in the Superstition Mountains and clues to the Lost Dutchman gold mine were given uh, to help find it. Canadian Club whiskey had been buried in exotic places all over the world at that time. And when this one was buried, 14 cases had been buried and 11 of them were yet to be found. Since then, I've only heard of one on Mount Kilimanjaro that was found by accident. So probably there's at least 10 cases out there that are still yet to be found. Well, yours truly found that on the second day of the campaign. Uh, I had a clue that wasn't given, that I knew about, that helped me find it so quickly, is that I knew that absolutely that the Forest Service was not going to allow any corporation to bury anything in the wilderness. So I didn't follow any of the clues that led you into the mountain. And that was, I think that was absolutely key to finding it so fast. However, they had to send somebody out from Phoenix and I had to take him out to the site so they could verify everything. And I was credited with finding it on the third day of the of the thing and regardless it absolutely destroyed a multi-million dollar campaign. Well that was in 1978 and 10 years later in 1988 a very beautiful lady decided that she was going to do a similar thing. She also knew that the Forest Service was not going to allow anything to be buried out there so she just planned to hide it not bury it. And it was a bronze statue of two mules being driven by the Dutchman with a rifle over his shoulder. This was, it, was, it was a beautiful uh, statue and beautiful bronze. And I, I hesitate to name who done it because uh, I'm a little confused uh, between a couple of names, so I'm, I'm not going to name who, who casted this. But anyway, she got some friends together that she was she knew well, and they went out in the mountains and, and hid this thing. And when the story came out in the newspaper, one of the clues immediately told me where they were. And I don't remember just what all the clues were. I just remembered that one of the clues was the word Oro, O-R-O. And the only place in the mountains that I know where the word Oro was is on a rock on Blacktop Mesa. So I got a couple of my cavalry guys and in we went just as quick as we could. And we got up on top of Blacktop Mesa. We got to that rock that said Oro. Oro. And within 30 minutes, we found a pile of river rock. River rock on top of Blacktop Mesa. What possibly could this be? Well, the statue weighed approximately 60 pounds. And you can't load that on a horse on one side of a pack panniard without putting something on the other side. So they used this river rock that was found outside of the mountain to balance the other side of the panniard, and it was dumped where they offloaded the statue. And I knew we had it. And then with another, another 30 minutes, my oldest boy found a place over the edge of the ridge, right down towards the edge of Blacktop Mesa on the west side where all the black volcanic rock was and right next to a creosote bush that it looked like somebody had stepped in and bent it all over. Uh, it looked almost possibly like the statue was placed right in the bush, but I think it was uh, on a flat rock right there in front of that bush and somehow that got trampled down. But there was no statue. Well, I just figured that somebody beat us to it. I mean, how many people particularly Dutch hunters, would know about that clue, Oro. So out we came. Well, a few, time, a few days later, I found out from a friend of mine 
that the Forest Service blew a fuse when she took that out there and hit it and forced her to remove it. So they went back in there with a, with a, a packer, uh, a stable owner, and uh, my friend Tom, and removed it. And it turned out I was one day late from finding it myself. And um, they took it out and went up along State Route 88 towards the beginning of the switchbacks and hid it behind some rocks, uh, not, 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 not 15 yards off the road. And some guy found it by complete accident, wasn't even looking for it. And that's the story of the bronze of Blacktop Mesa. Thank you for watching this episode of Mysteries of the Superstition Mountains. 